uh, when we look at street photographers from the past uh, uh, who ha who like used to take photos of like uh, for instance New York in the 1960s and 1940s and uh, some parts in Europe and Asia and now when we look at these photos uh, they look much more interesting than they you then like we think of them as really interesting photos because these photographers have documented the journey back then and of how the situation used to be yeah right and now when i think about street photography uh in this day and age mm -hmm. it's almost like i i i think of it as what's going to happen in the future like are we going to look back at this time uh in the future and be like okay like people like people back then uh like we we used to have an interesting life back then in the same way that we are looking we are looking back at uh photos from these early street photographers mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. think of their photos are interesting yeah. so it's more of this idea of uh documenting the journey or do you think that that has happened once and it's probably not going to happen because of the age of social media and because of the replication of images that we have now so what do you think that's about so this? interesting uh, because mm -hmm. i actually look back into the the history of street photography and like because i i had like i saw some debate on the internet of what exactly is street photography and you, when you look yeah. back uh, into the mm -hmm. history of street photography back then they didn't really call it street photography a as you said mm -hmm. it's more like people really go out on the street and just start taking random photos because first of all it's expensive Second of all, like, yeah. what what are you doing with that? Like, you kind of just look like a weirdo. So there are a lot of, uh, even like, even earlier than the 1960s, you see even mm -hmm. like some people taking street photography when photography is even invented. You know, some, some people took pictures back yeah. then, but yeah, those are more like documentation. And nowadays, um, actually, I was going to talk about you, something related to this. It's like, do you okay. call this photojournalism or street photography? Because... When you look at oh, that's photo, an interesting question. photojournalism, you cannot really alter the content of the photos because you're trying mm -hmm. to portray the truth, right? And mm -hmm. in street photography, a lot of these very cool um, hippie street photo photographers now nowadays, they edit a lot, right? Not that say not not that it's bad, but they look at it in a more aesthetic way. So um, they don't really see it as fo photojournalism. They see it as like a mm -hmm. like a artwork. You know, so if someone is caught yeah. crossing the street and maybe a baby accidentally entered the frame, they would Photoshop it out, right? So it's kind of not mm -hmm. like a documentation anymore. It's not it's not a photojournalism. It's just a very cool photo that you took. Of an event. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. It's like it's half, it has, like it's partially real and it's partially edited. So I, as you said, mm -hmm. I, I feel like we're not really, we are documenting what's happening right now but we kind of altered the reality in a way also so when people i don't think it's going to be the same as how we see before i think uh, 20 years down the road when people look at the photos that we took today they're gonna start questioning like how much of this is real and how much of this is fake because oh. uh, like you have all these filters nowadays right you know you can change a lot of things with photos yeah or like yeah. barely any photos that you see on the internet nowadays is not edited so I don't I don't think it's mm. going to be the same.